Hello students, welcome back to our science video. To sustain life, the body must produce sufficient energy. Energy is produced by burning molecules in food, which is done by the process of oxidation, whereby food molecules are combined with oxygen. Oxidation involves carbon and hydrogen being combined with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. The consumption of oxygen and the production of carbon dioxide are thus indispensable to life. It follows that the human body must have an organ system designed to eliminate carbon dioxide from the circulating blood and absorb oxygen from the atmosphere at a rate rapid enough for the body's needs even during peak exercise. The respiratory system enables oxygen to enter the body and carbon dioxide to leave the body. So for today's topic, we will trace the pathway of air and differentiate the three types of respiration. At the end of this video, viewers are expected to first, trace the pathway of air from the nasal cavity to cells, second, Differentiate the three types of respiration. To start this lesson, let's trace the pathway of air flowing from the environment towards the alveoli. The respiratory system starts at the nose and mouth and continues to the airways and the lungs. Air enters the respiratory system through the nasal cavity and passes down the throat or pharynx and through the voice box also known as larynx. The entrance to the larynx is covered by a small flap of tissue called epiglottis that automatically closes during swallowing, thus preventing food or drink from entering the airways. The windpipe or trachea is the largest airway. The trachea branches into two smaller airways, the left and right bronchi, which lead to the two lungs. Each lung is divided into sections or lobes, three in the right lung and two in the left lung. The left lung is a little smaller than the right lung because it shares space in the left side of the chest with the heart. The bronchi themselves branch many times into smaller airways, ending in the narrowest airways called the bronchioles. Thousands of small air sacs or alveoli are at the end of each bronchiole. Within the alveolar walls is a dense network of tiny blood vessels called capillaries. The extremely thin barrier between alveoli and capillaries allows oxygen to move from the alveoli into the blood and allows carbon dioxide to move from the blood into the capillaries. Look this animation and observe the movement of air going in and out of our body. Continue, what is the difference between breathing and respiration? Breathing is the process of moving air into and out of the lungs to facilitate gas exchange with the internal environment, mostly by bringing in oxygen and flushing out carbon dioxide. The mechanism of breathing involves two main processes, inspiration and expiration. Inspiration occurs when the diaphragm and the external intercostal muscles contract, while expiration occurs when the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles relax. Respiration is a chemical reaction that happens in all living cells. It is the way that energy is released from glucose so that all the other chemical processes needed for life can happen. Respiration has three different types, external, internal, and cellular respiration. What happened in each type of respiration and what makes them different from one another? Types of respiration can be classified based on the location it occurs. External respiration occurs in the nasal level where oxygen is getting in the nasal cavity and carbon dioxide is bringing out. This is called external respiration because it involves an interaction with the environment. In other words, external respiration is sometimes used synonymously with the word breathing. Next is internal respiration. As the name suggests, it is the type of respiration that occurs internally or inside the body. When the oxygen from the air reaches the lungs, 
it get transported into the blood. Similarly, carbon dioxide from the blood is given out of the lungs until it reaches the nasal area. Then, the oxygen will travel to our body and will receive by the body cells. While the carbon dioxide in the body cells will transfer towards the blood cells. This exchange of gas that occurs in the lungs, blood, and body cells are called internal respiration. And last on the list is cellular respiration. As the name suggests, it is restricted within the cells only, wherein oxygen is used to break down food molecules in the cells. Sometimes there is confusion about cellular and internal respiration. But now, the difference is very clear. Let's go back to our main question. Is breathing part of respiration? The answer is yes. Breathing is a smaller process connected to a larger process, which is respiration. Let's go again to the definition of respiration. Respiration is a process in which food is broken down in the cells with the help of oxygen to release energy. And how do the cells get oxygen? It is through breathing, right? So, we can say that breathing is part of respiration. To check your understanding, let's touch your knowledge about what you have learned from this video. Pause this part of the video for a while, then try to trace the movement of air as it enters the body by putting a number on the blanks before the structures enumerated. You may write your answer in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos.